What was that, bro? Who throwing stuff? Oh, yes. no. All right, y'all. We back, man. Back on this island of Wake 2. Let's get it in, bro. Don't forget, man. Like and subscribe. You like this Who was writing sharp, poem? beautiful content. Who was writing this poem? Some stuff we saw on the other side, but I guess I hadn't saved it to this part, so it's going to show it again. But we're not going to see it. I'm going to walk right through it after this. Stepping to the murders. Get out of the way, man. Hanging in the air. <laughs> meaning. But if you haven't seen that, it's in the other video. But let's keep going. Ooh, we got the yammer me yammer to now. This is a, where the other word of power was. If we look over here. It's a word of power somewhere over here. You can find it very easily. I think it's inside the uh, train. Right there. There's a word of power I couldn't find, and I didn't. I looked for it for like 30 minutes, bro. And it's right next to where Sean Ashmore is standing. Or Tom Breaker. The station had changed. I was closer now. Tim Breaker is it? All right, let's head home to the hotel. Our, our home in New York. That's where we used to live. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Time loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Hey, the phone is ringing. Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Yeah, I hear it. That Max Payne Payne phone. Return. Re scratch. Don't write. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Who are, are you, bro? Talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. This We're is scratch, right? Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. It sounds like him. Check Parliament Tower to make sure she really got out of the dark place. Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? We do want to answer who he is. I gotta stop pushing circle. I was so used to the circle being the flashlight. I changed it because I think circle should be dodged, not L1. I think that was a bad choice. But I'm halfway, like, I've been playing the game for hours, so I'm so used to <laughs> hitting the button. Anyway, let's go to Parliament Tower. Get it in. See if we can see our clone of Alice, because we know Alice is gone. She's not out here no more. Writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? I mean, you wrote the story, so... Yeah? Or at least Scratch might have wrote it. Alright, here we go, y'all. Elevators, elevators don't mean good things in horror games. Oh, the shining looking elevator. Got a dark presence or something here. Haunting. Alice's photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. Shoot, the only thing that should have went off is a shotgun. Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! So maybe Scratch went home to Alice. Alice. Rick, pick photos for exhibition posters. This is a photo of Scratch. 
How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? Probably. That makes sense. Scratch should have went about his dang business if he got out. I don't see nothing else in this room. They hope the apartment look a little bit different. This is the door to my study where I wrote my books. The symbol wasn't here before. Also, the apartment look way different, bro. There's no way your apartment looked like this before. Yeah, if y'all built different now, bro. I mean, we had a nice apartment, but it was like just like two rooms. <laughs> well, it was like four rooms, but it wasn't this big. I wonder why they changed it. It's because Alice changed it somehow. How could she change an apartment, bro? That doesn't make any sense. They're like, look, nobody told you to play the last game and remember stuff. Part one. What was Alice working on? Guess you gotta find out. Find your little tape player or something. Computer or something. Oh, right here. Let's see what it is. Let's see what Alice is doing. Alice still look good? Where you used to live, Alice? And then I met Alan. He set you up. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then Alan hit a block. brought out a meaner side of him one I didn't like I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington I didn't tell him until we got there we argued things went wrong and he was just gone drowned allegedly Easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do too sometimes. So she don't remember. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. With the light in the background. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. 
Hmm. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? He moving. Look at him. And breathing. I suppose look at this. I said it. I said he kept going like this. Keep going. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? It's both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it... this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. 
Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. All right, back to Saga. No more FBI clothes. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Let's profile him. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer That's a good question. Is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe. The dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Mm. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. She goes. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Exactly. He's starting to figure it out. Scratch can't get out without Wake. I think because I don't want to get home so bad. This mug he, always <laughs> cheers me up. Wrote him, it's not the worst mom. Walk out like that. Okay. Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Come on, give them to me, John Wake. This is all I have. Be careful with them. I'm about to drop these in the trash right here. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Ah, uh, let's go look at that. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. She just keeping this stuff in her memory? Wait, what? She can walk all over this place? Oh, that's how you leave. That's the exit. That's crazy. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for okay, the first so time. So we gotta go to the outskirts of Watery. I gotta go to Caseboard? I guess so. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. Let's go get if it. We find that. Then we find the cult. Yeah. You figured it out, dummy. Margaret Cauldron Lake. 
Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. Mm -hmm. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? You're going to find out. Case closed, man. Dead in the mud. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Alright, let's go figure it out. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay. I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flap. <laughs> well, now you can switch between Island and Saga story stories via the bucket and the janitor. Room. Feel free to play in whichever, whatever order you choose. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm going to stick to the story. The next part of it says that she got to go to the spot. So we're doing that. Hi, welcome. All right, what's up, bartender? Welcome to the black uh, people that used to work in here, bro. Okay. Past favorite deer fest floats. Let me get a drink, yeah. huh? The yarn puppet monstrosity. The oh, yeah. stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. <laughs> Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. All right. Stuff moose and squirrels one? That's weird. What does this dude got? Hello, just, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's coffee best world. coffee themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! For dear life on the Espresso Express. Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. But it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park. Da! Amusement! Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not a moving. Take in amazing views. Is this the dude that call Alan Wake? I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. This is the third time I've requested you jaw a great time when I have it in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all What room night. is that, sir? Yes, sir. I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh! Oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Oh. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. Y'all can't replace the TV? I ain't got a different TV? Whatever. Let me go see what room that is, bro. I'm trying to see what the TV do, bro. It might show some nice springs. What's going on there? Hey. What you doing? Hello? What you hear? FBI agent, ma'am. Please move out the way. Hello? What you looking for? Ma'am. What's going on? Oh, she off that liquor. Oh, right, what that do a room at? They said the TV comes. Tammy didn't want me to come. I can tell not. I can tell. Not like the trip. It was even helping. I thought getting out of the city would inspire me, but Bright Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. 
Uh, something about an all black cast. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It's weird sitting here in a hotel room. Some pieces are starting to fall together. An idea for a new play. A space code burning down the galaxy and some misguided search for TBD. A lone man and an artist wandering the stars until his destiny puts him straight into the coast path. All black cast, a musical, a rock opera. Okay, this is the black couple from the Bookers. Oh, the manuscript page here. Hold on, I'm trying to see what that say. Why would there be a manuscript page here? Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Oh, no. Ed struggled in vain. Hey! Oh, my God. We got to go to Cauldron Lake and save it. Is another manuscript? Why would he go in? He black. He know better than that. Tammy tapped her pen on her <laughs> notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. It's true. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes. Do what they did. See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research wow. trip she pictured. It'd be cold in New York. First the incident Damn at the rain. lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Yeah, he did. And now he probably... Out there in the woods getting turned into one of these uh, cultists. Or eviscerated. One of them. A black man down. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we can go to Cauldron Lake, see if we can help. Alright, so let me go get in the car. I had to get away from some copyright music. And I had music copyright. <laughs> I had to get away from it. Let me get in the car. I'm going to head off to Cauldron Lake, see if we can save my boy Ed. He sound like he in danger. We got to go help him. Oh, right, we off to a watery, y'all. I went to Cauldron Lake to see if my boy Ed was there. I walked around for 10 minutes, and he was nowhere to be found. So I'm not going to listen to the pages no more, bro. I'm just going to follow the story. I thought maybe I could stumble yeah, onto it. Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? How'd you get away from it? You're you supposed to be watching. Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. Would they find me? And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true. Or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Uh, we need backup now. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Yeah. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. It was some bullet time, son. Get him, Max Payne. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. So we're gonna look around and see. I should ask around. Hey, Ole. It's hiding in which. You got some information? I don't drop the Negroes. Oh, okay. My bad. 
I understand. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Why? Wow, that's a bad joke. Maybe that's why you married that David dude. David dude, y'all both corny. Stella is missing. Now you only need four notes of Stella in one hey, area. What did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that. I don't know. Y'all the same dudes I saw earlier. Hands are the devil's playground. So, well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. Yeah, all right. I don't appreciate you. Hey, where is the time gone? I don't know, you're just it's standing just around wasting it. Husk of what used to be me left. Girl, you just talking to yourself? Was that directed at me? You want to have a conversation about it? Kind of weird civilians it is. is definitely quaint. Stank. It looked like it stank. What is that, bro? Bro, what's that? Good day. Oh, you're a nice dude. I wouldn't approach nobody with a shotgun on their back like that. I bet they have good fish here. She don't even have the FBI symbol stuff on there no more. She got the gun hanging out the front and everything. No badge on, nothing. She's just a person walking around with a gun. She, let me see. She got a badge on and nothing. Nah, she's just a bruised up woman with toting around the heat. That's not suspicious or nothing. What's going on over here? You rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. What? It was the boat doing something on his own? I'm trying to find all of them. Y'all just got ammo and stuff just hitting them coolers all over the place. I'm down for it. Let me get some more, bro. What's hat? Yo, same old man. I keep seeing you everywhere, bro. Hey, look, we only got eight NPCs in the game, huh? Let's finally go over here. I was looking around for like ammo and stuff. Oh, no, nah, bro. This better not be a copyright strike. It's Auntie. Excuse me. Do you know I got where I Auntie's in the middle of a show. I don't care. Tell him to shut up. Y'all. This man been singing for about three, four minutes. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Who the heck are you? Uh, Thor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricks. Were they still alive? Speaking of. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. What do you mean, long time no see? Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. I don't you know you, bro. Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. You don't know. Can you point me to any trailers? You're not going to ask him here? why he know who the heck you are? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. Oh. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. See you around. Go what? You got beef or something with you? You trying to tell me to get a body here? All right, well, I thought. All right, I'm about to head over to the bridge. This man been singing in there for like four hours. Who this? A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. Mom's family was from Sweden. Oh, so this is where the coat is at. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Girl, don't stop imagining. Saunas, you know lakes. there's a coat over here somewhere. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? Yeah. Let me see that old body. Yes. Yeah, the steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I bet. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. Boy, got the I ash on them feet. The sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure, I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest. They just wear a mask, bro. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. 
I'd be killed for sure. You're right. And I could maybe use my crutches nah, to defend mm -mm. myself. They build different. Do you think that'd work? No. You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Yeah, you probably should just run away, bro. As in, run to your house and stay in there forever. Hey, Sarah. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is gold. Oh, tell him to shut up. Hey, man, he told you to shut up. You gonna take that? That's dirty. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. It's I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. Like right now. Not on the radio and not in the sauna. Hey, y'all, if y'all talking about the sauna, y'all should probably go get in it. You gonna have no problem. There's nobody in there, bro. You don't have to listen to this man no more. All right, don't let me have to shoot y'all later. Whoa, sure is nice out here by the water. Nice and quiet. You said shut up. <laughs> Dude, dirty. Okay, this is where Elmio and his buddies at. Hey, Saga. Over here. Hmm. Don't be making nice with me, bro. Y'all cultists. I know it. What's that? Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Back in? I missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. What? They act like they've known me for years. Then ask them why this they know that. What's happening? Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal. Send your hand, yo, Sally. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. What that mean? You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. Okay, let's do it. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? You talking about me? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. What are you talking about, bro? Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. What? It's like they remember a different reality. Oh, is this an alternate story reality? Messing with their memories? Because what's his name? Tom was talking about. Tim Breaker was talking about different reality. Hold on. Let's see, let's see what they're talking about, bro. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. So there must be an alternate. Yeah, Does he really person. believe that? We're rolling. Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Yeah, all right. I don't know, man. That sound uh, like they might be right. So, what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial? Yeah, board? I looked at it. Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. What happened to the moose, bro? Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. 
Okay, we don't care. So... Your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. What are they, bruh? Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. Okay. And, uh... Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. No, nope. really. not really. He doesn't. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. He likes hey, it. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself Are a you favor editing? and uh, check them all out. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. Good for me. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. Why? The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Thanks, bro. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. The road is flooded? Call the gift shop. So Boy, I can swim. Yep. Oh, so he did have a phone on. Let me listen. I'm lost. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. What's the code well, then, bro? After they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Wright Falls for that uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are off peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Why well, y'all got this like Finnish accent? Y'all live in Washington. You know, never mind. Maybe it's just maybe it's a Washington thing, I don't know. Need to get across the river. <laughs> uh, for sure. I, I live close to Washington and uh it's just that uh, I ain't never seen that before. But, hey, might be something I ain't never heard of. Maybe it's a different reality that. Oh yeah. Flashlights, we're gonna need that. Flashlight! Flashlight. What was that? I thought it might pop the balloon out here. It better be a balloon. I'm gonna pop a noggin. Fuck! What was that, bro? Who's throwing stuff? Oh yeah, no, not those yourself. dudes. She said, FBI, I'll show you something. What? What'd I miss? Alright. You're wasting my bullets. They mad I was on it. They're like, nah, you can't get the shot to kill yet. The bullets not work on you, bro? What's happening? Oh, somebody behind me. Reload. We do our fast. Oh, he's getting shot. I see what I'm talking about. How the game is totally different when you ain't playing on baby mode. No, you're just taking damn bullets. Sorry, I got something. Slide up on me, bro. Come on, slide up on me, bro. I'm on you. What? Alright, it takes too many moments sometimes. That's actually kind of annoying. More people turning into Taken. Sheesh. Is this the cult? Or the story? What about the, or both? the people that y'all didn't hear these gunshots? I done ran up there like, hey! Well, no, I wouldn't. Ha <laughs> ha That's a lie, man. Oh, uh, shit. I said I would have ran up there. That is a lie. I am not running up there. I'm running the other direction. You do had anything on them? What's over here? Oh, it's a rhyme. There another is. rhyme. It's a moose stall. And another moose stall. All right. Let's see what this rhyme all about. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worry frown. From the hunter, he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Yes. Got it. 
Uh, oh shit. What? What you see? Well, we solved the rhyme, whatever. Oh, it went it turned dark. Now there's a moose in it. This is ridiculous. Let me get that charm, bro. What you got? The charm. Oh, it's just another one of the sages from Death Moon. We we use those when we fight like a super boss or something. Boss, I'm like, oh my goodness, I couldn't beat him without these. Oh, there's a map. Like what we need. Think. Oh, we already got the map. What's under here? This is where the secret's at. Secrets out. There's another cult stash. Okay, good. Let's get the stuff. I think we got the good weapons and stuff over here. Might work. What did it say? I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. It looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the code of the tree means business. Another dead taken over by the radio tower. Huh. I'm not, uh, okay, so Saga is, uh, all right, so my theory is that there's an alternate universe Saga. And she's a part of the code of the tree. Because I remember when they were killing that dude, there was a brown person involved. So I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I could be way out there, bro. It's a way out there game. Way out there game, we doing way out there things. I hear something screaming behind me. Let's see if we can get this in. Something screaming. I'm gonna run in here and get to say. Nothing manuscript. Let's see what that one say. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Yep. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Coscalus had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing. But involving her daughter, daughter was crossing the line. line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. We already did that. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. All right. Use the painkillers instead. If it's good enough for Max Payne, it's good enough for her. Hey! Another one of those cult boxes. Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. I changed the code, his ass. Okay, we gotta find the code. We gonna get that crossbow. Yes, sir. I heard a crossbow, we gotta get it. Oh, it's wherever the arrows are at. So it could be one. Oh, the third for the third part is seven. For the fifth, first part is five. So, and the second part is two. Five two seven. Got it. I'm a genius. Anybody could figure that out. All right, let's go, bro. Ooh. If you aren't wearing the mask, this is not belong. Don't belong to me now. You should never had it out here. Made it that easy to get. Greatest hits. Ooh, hey. Let me snatch some of these off, bro. Oh yeah. Let's, let's snatch these out. Cruising. Yeah. Cruising USA. Yeah. Let me I can upgrade the crossbow from the Hold on, let me go. See, cause the crossbow might be the, the thing I want to upgrade. Bows and bolts over here. Fire two bows before needing to be reloaded. Pull the string. Hold the fire down. Roll the gun. Oh, bullets lo bolts lodges the enemies will attract bolts fire and it's Should we do this? I say I always like to get the higher high, highest upgrade first. So 
I'm gonna test the thing out first, man. See if it's even worth using. Let's get it out. Let's get another container right here. Looks like it's locked. We must be able to get that key around here somewhere. It might work all the way down in uh, White Falls. Cauldron Lake. So it's obviously the Ilkwakum brothers. Uh, Ilmo and his brothers uh, kind of stuff. Uh-oh. Y'all heard that? Oh, my God. I get my uh, bow back, or is that it? I can get it back. Oh, oh, yeah, you can hear me hear you, though. Oh, my goodness. The, okay, we need the two bolts. I didn't know it took that long. Cause it was like firing the bolt immediately does nothing. Cause if they got that dark stuff on them, it doesn't matter if you fire the bolt immediately. What is that down there? Is this leading me into, oh, it's leading me into the world. There's bolts over here? I'm about to go get that. What are you talking about? I would have been able to heal over here. Isn't this the radio tower from that other? The tower that Matt, uh, Alan Wake saw that one time. Available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. There's a lunchbox over here. They said it was. All right. Yeah, it must be over here. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Shoot, snatch. I lowered my rifle standing on the car's roof. I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved, and they cheered again. Now I can finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet sense of the writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombie had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could do it. You could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. Man, that's corny, bro. Who wrote that? I know it wasn't Alan. Wait. Mm -mm, I could take that corny in his back. What's down here? A little picnic spot. Ah, a picnic basket. A little rhyme area. More of those rhymes. All right, let's see. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and the two deers cried all day. Okay, so uh, I need another deer before I can do this. I only have two deers, or one deer actually. I have a deer and a moose. Because it says, one little deer never came home. So let's put the one the deer on the home. Oh, Makes is that sense. it? Oh, damn. Oh, the bird went that way. Oh, no, that was a deer running. I heard it. Oh, my God. It was a wolf. That killed it. Come on, homie. Bring it. What's happening with you? What's happening with you? You gotta come this way. I'm gonna keep it low because I know how y'all. Oh my god. I really hate how fast these wolves be moving, bro. Shit. It's two of y'all.
Put the other one out. I know you got a friend. Bring him. Was you the one with the bow? I shot one of y'all in the face with a bow and arrow. I think it was you because you died instantly after I shot you. Come on out, bruh. Mm -hmm. Come on with it. Fucking monsters. They said, we just regular wolves, man. <laughs> we just built them. Hey, you got my bow back, bro? You not getting my bow back? All right. Shot him in the face with it, but whatever. Uh, can't forget the dolls. You can forget it. We gotta I come. Need them again. Oh yeah, that's right. We already solved that puzzle. But hey, wait. Wasn't I supposed to get something? So the wolf, the deer ran that way. But we didn't get the uh, thing we were supposed to get. Oh, it must be out here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's on the deer. There's a cultist out here. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, you can catch him lacking, huh? I forgot you could do that, actually. I can use this charm on my bracelet. All right, let's see what that one do. I guess it's being staggered or interrupted. I don't think we really had a problem with that yet. <laughs> That's not really a thing. But hey, I'll take it. For now. But I haven't been using the hand for that much. So I don't really care. We might need reload speed on this thing, bro. I'm going to snatch the crossbow boats. That's it. Hurry up. Get them bows back, please. You only have one? Bro, I shot you with two. Whatever. Alright, where the boats at? Oh, they must have been shooting them into this over here. Yeah. Awesome. Maybe I could just run past this. Over here. All right. Falls Okay, the crossbow don't play. Unless you follow it with some distinct bullets in the chest. So the crawler bow is to be used to soften up enemies and then to finish them off. My man got a, a terrifying amusement park dying. In the middle of the, the Silent Hill woods. And you expect people to come to it. <laughs> I would not go. Trust me. I'm like, hey man, uh, we about to go to the amusement park in the middle of the woods, and we're overgrown and foliage, and all kind of crap all over the place. You want to go? I'm like, nah. I'm a pass on that one, y'all. Y'all have fun out there with the deranged people. Like, oh yeah, that's also where uh, Alan Wake went missing. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Okay, this is uh, one of our little boxes over here somewhere. Look at that. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction got mixed into some of the statues, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online and they're getting really good, pretty good reviews, but I appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Too late. Are you read them? Oh, they gave me five on that one. Sure, let's get it in. I need an upgrade, bro. All right, so let's do the two shots. 
Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream. <laughs> they even had the narration for it. Okay. Hey, it works for me as long as it do two more shots. I'm about to start popping off, baby. Why have one when you can do two? You feel me? Once you pop, the fun don't stop. You end the dick. Heck going on out there, bro? This boy really have this amusement park out in the middle of nowhere, where barely any people gonna go. Well, I haven't I haven't seen a single kid, by the way, and it's flooded. This boy live in a house of horrors. Who want to go to this amusement park? Ah, oh, pass, bro. That's a gnaw for me. Be up in here so I can say. 